Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. And in this particular video lecture, we are going to talk about IUBMB classification of enzymes. And not only we'll be talking about the classification of enzymes, this is going to be the most detailed version of the video regarding the enzyme classification that you'll ever see in YouTube. So it will be a little bigger, but it will worth your time. Okay, we will be talking about the EC numbers and also we are going to talk about the class and subclasses of these numbers and what they stand for. I am also going to uh, provide you example of enzymes belonging to different classes. So let's start uh, with the introduction to the enzyme classification. The first thing is that the enzymes are classified by this International Union of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. In short, we call them IUBMB. Okay, and second is the categorized into six major classes, six different classes based on the type of reaction that they catalyze, six classes. Okay, and each enzyme is assigned a unique EC that is enzyme commission number. So for all the six classes, there is an EC number. Even some of these classes are divided into subclasses which have their own sub EC numbers. So let's start talking about the first type or EC1 uh, of it known as oxidoreductase. Okay, uh, the function of oxidoreductase as the name suggests, they catalyze oxidation reduction reactions. That means the redox reactions, we call them uh, redox reduction oxidation reaction means gaining of electron losing of electron that part of the uh, the reactions are catalyzed by this okay uh, the general reaction i can tell you is that let's say two substrate a and b involved in the process a has an electron so that electron is donated by the a so a is losing electron and b is gaining that electron so that's an oxidation reduction process because oxidation is losing electron and reduction is gaining electron. For short, oil a rig. Remember that in order to understand this oxidoreductase enzymes. Now the example, uh, if you talk about dehydrogenase, any kind of dehydrogenase enzymes that we see, which play a very crucial role in carbohydrate metabolism. Uh, okay, particularly in the TCA cycle, we see dehydrogenase complex, pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. So those are all belonging to this oxidoreductase class. Alcohol dehydrogenase is uh, with the EC number EC 1.1.1.1. This one converts ethanol to acetaldehyde. Ethanol to acetaldehyde, and that enzyme's role is this oxidation reduction for aldehyde and ethanol. So they, this is one example. Next is lactate dehydrogenase enzyme. EC number 1.1.1.27 converts lactose to pyruvate or pyruvate to lactose. Both the way. They, works, uh, they work both the way. So pyruvate to lactate or lac lactate or lactate to pyruvate conversion is done by lactate dehydrogenase enzyme. These are two very common examples of oxidoreductase enzyme. Next we'll move EC number 2 that is transferases, the second class transferases is number two. And the function is to transfer functional groups between the molecules. If you have two separate molecules, it transfers the functional group, R group, from one molecule to the other. Okay, so the general reaction says that A is with the functional group X and B is normal. So this X functional group will be transferred to B. So after the reaction, it will be A only because the functional group is donated and B becomes BX. This is how is the general reaction representation. Examples are hexokinases. EC number is listed. I'm not going to read it out for you every single time. You don't need to remember these EC numbers, but remember the EC number for the broader classes. Okay, like transferase is EC2. Hexokinase transfers a phosphate group to glucose. Okay, okay, phosphofructokinase is also another. So these are all uh, examples. Okay, alanine transaminase uh, transfers amino group to alpha ketoglutarate. Okay, these are all. So you can see that hexokinase transfer a phosphate group from one substrate to the other. Uh, the same thing happens for the uh, other kinases, phosphofructokinase and all. But alanine transaminase, again, is an enzyme transferring amino group to the alpha ketoglutarate. And that's how it is done. Next, we'll move to EC3. That is the third class. And in this case, not third class uh, category, but third class. Hydrolases, okay, EC3 is hydrolases function to catalyze the hydrolysis of bonds using water, 
remember that we call it third class category to break things apart because this particular enzymes they will cleave protea proteins like peptide bonds uh, all these nucleic acid structures so they are going to hydrolyze it right and the lysosome is filled with these hydrolytic enzymes but they require water for their hydrolysis power to to be exerted so the general reaction is that let's say a b connected together with a bond let's say it's a peptide bond water is needed it will break a into a h and b o h because water is involved in it a is with h and b is with o h that's how the reaction is done that is the general reaction of hydrolases or ec type 3 next is the examples what are the examples out there amylases uh, again, uh, it's a enzyme that can break down starch into maltose and glucose. So basically an enzyme that will break down complex carbohydrate like starch into maltose and glucose which are simpler form of the sugar. Next is the lipases. Again, EC numbers denote lipase hydrolyzed triglycerides into glycerols and fatty acids. They will break uh, these triglycerides into glycerol and fatty acid backbones will be separate uh, glycerol backbone will be separated fatty acids will be separated that is the job of lipase because we know that let's say there are three hands like this the backbone separated three fatty acids uh, chains are separated with lipase okay next uh, the fourth category is lyases or ec4 lyases function is to catalyze the addition of or removal of groups to form double bonds now this is very important so if it is an enzyme that can cleave a group or a functional group out only then we cannot call it lyase right we've seen the example of enzymes that can transfer the, the groups functional group from one amino acid to the other but lyases do uh, the removal of the groups to form double bonds okay and here general reaction is that a b connected we can break it down into a plus b or if a and b two substrates are there they can be bond together to form a b so that is uh, the lyases uh, role example aldolase that cleaves the fructose 1 6 bisphosphate breaks it down fructose 1 6 bisphosphate is separated now the fructose 1 6 bisphosphate that is separated it's normally a 6 carbon compound 6 com carbon molecules split into 3 carbon molecules and 2 such 3 carbon molecules that is the job of aldolase next is carbonic anhydrase converts carbonic acid into co2 and water so you take carbonic acid and you break it down into carbon dioxide and water water will be there and co2 will be released on the other hand co2 can be combined with water to form carbonic acid and this is a very important idea considering the fact that the carbon dioxide is stored as a carbonic acid and is transported via the bloodstream used as the carbonic acid. Fifth uh, class here is the isomerase, very important class, isomerase as the name suggests, EC5. Uh, the function is to catalyze isomerization or isomerization changes within the molecule. Okay, that means we'll change the isomeric form of the molecule from one type to the other type isomeric changes. So A becomes B, B becomes C. So isomeric changes. Example, phosphoglucose isomerase converts glucose 6 phosphate into fructose 6 phosphate. If you consider uh, the structures, if you check the structure of glucose 6 phosphate and fructose 6 phosphate, there is only very minor difference and the difference is only in the isomerization. That means uh, both are sugars and they have the arrangements of carbons, the presence of uh, all the bonds but little difference so that little difference and rearrangement is done by phosphoglucose isomerase next is the triose phosphate isomerase converts uh, dihydroxyacetone phosphate dihydroxyacetone phosphate or dhap it can be modified into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate you know glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate is a three carbon molecule dihydroxyacetone phosphate three carbon molecule but the rearrangement of dihydroxyacetone phosphate is done as such that it becomes glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and this enzyme is involved in the glycolysis for the continuation of the process of glycolysis okay in the last category last class sixth one is ligase ligases not ligase ligase breaks the bond but ligases seals the bond joins the bond ec6 
function catalyze joining of two molecules using atp hydrolysis obviously it will join uh, two molecules together with a particular bond but in this case they will require atp hydrolysis to do so general reaction is that a plus b plus atp is required and ab will be joined together and atp will be hydrolyzed as adp plus pi will be released examples of ligases uh, dna ligase joins dna strands particularly seals the phosphodiester bond uh, the phosphodiester nick that is created will be sealed by the ligase okay phosphodiester bond formation is enhanced or initiated by dna ligase and glutamine synthetase synthesize glutamine from glutamate and ammonia if you give them glutamate and ammonia along with the glutamine synthetase with atp uh, along with the atp it is driving the glutamine attached uh, i mean glutamate attached to the ammonia to form uh, glutamine to synthesize glutamine okay that is how it is done this is the sixth uh, class or ligase uh, class so let now let's look at the summary of the enzyme classes that we discussed first one is oxidoreductase redox reactions are carried out by the milk example alcohol dehydrogenase okay pyruvate dehydrogenase okay next one is the transferase ec2 transfer groups between molecules example hexokinase next is hydrolases ec3 cause hydrolysis breakdown of the bond using water example amylases proteases are out there next is lyase group addition or group removal example aldolases next is isomerase ec5 cause isomerization like phosphoglucose isomerase phosphomenose isomerase next one is the ligases ec6 bond formation uh, between molecules bond formation using atp dna ligase joins the nick in the phosphodiester bond so that concludes our understanding of the enzyme classification i believe you have a clear idea about the enzyme classification with the help of this video if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye